Yeah, what's going on, YouTube? This is the year was 1989. As you can see from the title, um, this video is about the time I was surrounded. And the gun pulled out on me in old San Juan, Puerto Rico, and La Perla. And then before I start the story, I like to give the history. I'm big on history. So I'm gonna give the history of La Perla and um, how it started. In about the 1950s, um, the specific place of La Perla was made for the migrant workers and the Afro-Latinos um, to come work and have a place to live outside of the city walls of um, San Juan, Puerto Rico. <laughs> okay, so in 2021, December 2021, me and my lady, we went to San Juan, Puerto Rico. <laughs> we left Baltimore, by the way, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. We left Baltimore at like 5 in the morning. We didn't get there until like 7.30. 8 in the morning and um, we wound up going to our room um, to the hotel we were staying at and we couldn't check in until 12, 12 o'clock was the check in time so we wound up, it was a casino in the, the lobby uh, part of the um, hotel so we wound up going to the casino until it was time for us to check in. So 12 o'clock, come in, check in. Um, get in the shower, uh, take a little nap. So we didn't get up until around like two, three o'clock. <laughs> All right, so mind you, my, my lady, she has a, a friend of hers that's from San Juan. So she's telling us all these places to go. So first we wind up going to Peonis. Peonis is a, a restaurant area. It, yeah, it has a lot of restaurants and places you can eat. I'm about 15, 20 um, places right in this little area. It's called Peonis. Good food. Well, at least the food that my lady had was good food that I had made me sick for like two days. Right, so we leave Peonis around like, uh, I said we, 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 we leave Peonis around like four o'clock, go back to the room, you know, change that, to, uh, go to La Placitas. Um, La Placitas was a uh, like night, like nightlife, a place you can go enjoy yourself. Um, not really clubs or where, but they had a few clubs, but uh, like bars slash restaurants. So we found this one restaurant and they had like a 45 minute to an hour wait. And my lady, she asked me, do you want to go here? I, tell, I told her if you want to. And it's cool, so she said, all right, fine. So they gave us a, um, not really a ticket, but a number. And uh, uh, like this little thing, where it's over here, a beep when your table was ready. So in the midst of us waiting, my lady asked me, like, yeah, you think you can, you want to go find some, um, some buds? I told her, alright, cool, I go, I go see what I can do. I see if I can get some grass. So I'm walking up this hill. And I see two dudes up there smoking. And I asked them, oh, yeah, well, what are we? weed, And they pointed towards these steps and down this hill. And it looked a little janky, it looked a little sketchy. So I'm like, I don't know. But I said, alright, forget it. Place it reminded me of like um, 
Brazilian favelas. Like that, it reminded me of that. So I'm walking down the hill, it started getting darker. And the houses started, like I said, started getting like more worn down, worn and tore to them. So I'm walking, I'm walking. And I called my lady, I'm like, yeah, I don't know where I'm at. down here, it look like I'm in the hood, and while I'm on the phone with her, dude said, there's a dude standing across the street, he said, get off your phone, no phones, so I'm thinking, he, he like, yeah, man, you supposed to be out here partying, you party, we don't do no phones out here, go party, so I'm like, oh yeah, uh, uh, all right, man, got to talk to my lady. So as I look up, he says it again and more, you get louder with it. And when I, no phones, no phones, and when I look up, it's about 10, 20 dudes around the corner as I keep going. So I hang up the phone, I'm like, yo, what's up, why you telling me to get out the phone? Mind you, I didn't know it was a no phone policy, I'll find out later. So the dude, one of the younger dudes walk up and like, yeah, he, 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 he tell you to do something, uh, you do it. Once again, mind you, I'm from Baltimore City. So yeah, that Baltimore mentality kicked in. I put my phone in my pocket, I said, yo, check this out. I ain't trying to hear none of that. Hey, man, I'm a, I'm a real guy, I'm a real one. For real, for real, yeah, this is this, this what we do where I'm from. While I'm saying that, he pulling out the gun, shaking his head, say, yeah, yeah. I say, yeah, he my heart pounding, my heart pounding. <laughs> I say, yeah, man. He said, yo, I, 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 I hear that, I hear that. You can tell he, he, he might have lived in uh, Philly or New York, somewhere like that, and went back to Puerto Rico. But while we talking, the, the older dude that I originally um, started talking to, he said to me, look, I give you a pass this time because you was respectful. I'm like, yeah, man, I wasn't nothing just about respectful, man. I'm, I just wanted to grab some grass, get back to my lady, do what I was doing, man. I ain't... I ain't want no problems. And they say, look, check this out. Yeah, this is a 20. Yeah, take that. Come back down here next time. Come see me. We know you good. But just no phones. And to speak on the no phone policy, it was a brother named Tyreek Loat. And he's from De- Delaware. And he went down there uh, in La Perla, allegedly. And um, he went down there to go do whatever he was doing. And they told him, no phones, no phones. And once again, allegedly, as soon as he hop out the car, he started recording. He pulled his phone out. So they jumped him, shot him and another dude he was with. And set the brother on fire. They, they, they didn't find him until a couple of days later. It was also a rapper. I think he was out of Florida. He um, took a piss on one of the houses. And he got one of his dreads ripped out and his ass whipped. So yeah, I'm saying, man, be aware of your surroundings. And respect for your surroundings at all times. Now, I'm going to be coming to you with a, I'm a video about the time that uh, I was ran, chased down and ran over by a van. And um, this channel, I don't necessarily mean that this channel is just going to be about storytelling and stuff like that. Once again, I'm big on history. I'm going to be um, posting videos about um, so-called black Americans that founded cities um, in America and 
that were uh, the black cowboys, stuff like that. So, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another one.